and think Jackie was only about 17 herself when she recorded that much the same age as all the girls we've just heard for the last half hour. Let me introduce you first to Ross. Good afternoon, Ross. Oh, good afternoon, Bits. And then you're the sort of power behind the throne, so to speak, with the sweethearts. I think so, but I think more and more um, the girls drive the band themselves, Bits. A lot of that stuff we're doing is driven by them. I think I might be becoming a bit obsolete. Right. Well, that's always a good thing, isn't it? Oh, isn't I think it? that's what we're aiming for. Right. And who have we got with us? Who are these two fine young looking ladies we have? Oh, we've, we've got Imogen and Melanie. And, and what part in the band? I'll let them tell. Uh, well, I play keys and synth, and, and I play, well, I'm a singer, I'm a backing singer. Right, and how long have you guys been singing with the Sweethearts? I've been in the band for three years now, and I think I've been in the band five. I think it is now, yeah. And so what happens when you finish the, your year 12, do you hang about or is that it then? You're an ex-sweetheart. Well that's the thing with sweethearts, we're always getting new people in, getting new um, ideas and everything, but um, recently when you finish year 12, um, some of the girls have been hanging back to give out a hand and some of them are mentoring us now. And, uh, yeah. It's good though, because the sound is really fresh and even though they're well-known songs, the arrangements and the production that you put with them are really quite spectacular. You know? Yeah, I suppose as we've developed as a band, we're trying to take more of a, um, the, the student's input and we're trying to change it and really develop it into our own music, type of music. Well, I suppose with the instruments and the technology they had back in 19, in the 60s and early 70s when they made these things, here we are. 30 years or more later with better instrumentation, better mixing decks, etc, etc. So I suppose it's only fair enough that you bring these great songs up to date. Yeah. Yeah, and they yeah. don't seem to lose anything, do they? They've kept the essence of the songs there and the feeling is still good. I think, you know, soul music is soul music. You know? I think the girls have really understood in the last few years that it's all about putting a bit of emotion into the music, a bit of expression, and as long as you keep that intrinsically in the music, you can get away with doing a lot of changes in the arrangements. It was actually Gil Askey, who's a bit of a legend around Melbourne, but Gil sort of convinced us and showed us the way there many years ago, and now we're sort of doing it ourselves, but I, I credit Gil a lot to showing us the way to reinvent these songs. Well, that was one of Gil's jobs when he was actually at Motown as well, was to uh, was to come up with new arrangements for the Supremes, which he'd done quite successfully for about eight years, I think. Oh, yeah. Look, Gil is just absolutely amazing, and if anybody gets the chance to meet him or see him perform, it, he, he's incredible. His knowledge of music and he, as an entertainer himself, he's just an amazing person. Well, he does play around with uh, Bob Sadegreen a fair bit, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a gig down at Dizzy's Bar. He's plays with uh, Paul Williamson, heaps of well-known musicians around um, town that he's very highly regarded. But he's a bit of a treasure, you know. A lot of people actually don't realise how lucky we are to have him in this town. I oh, know. I, um, when I first discovered that he was here was a few years ago when the Temptations and the Commodores were touring. And, and they said, oh, in the audience tonight's Gil Askey, who lives in Australia. And I spent the next two days going through phone books, you know. <laughs> yeah. But I did track him down, and he is a marvellous, marvellous person. Yeah, he has sure so is. much knowledge. Yeah. And he's willing to share it, which is... Oh, yeah, the amazing. kids, you know, it's amazing. He comes down, and Gil's into his 80s. He won't mind me mentioning that, but he'll sit down with a room full of teenage girls, and you think, the first time he came, I think, I hope this works. And I've never seen a person walk in with an age group with kids at that age and just have them just hanging off every word he says. He's just a charmer and, and his knowledge and, and he's entertaining, he's everything, he's the full package. He's an incredible teacher and mentor. He is, he is a great person, no doubt about it. He's done so much.